Hey everyone, welcome to the Linux Classroom. My name is Jared Bernard. Let's talk about GPG and how you can encrypt all your data and communications using GPG. GPG is asynchronous, which means that it uses two keys to encrypt, a public and a private key. The way this works is you give your public key to everybody you know. They then use your public key to encrypt data and information and communication that they then send to you. The only key that can decrypt what was encrypted with your public key is your private key that you alone own and don't share with anyone. Again, that's what's important. Your friend can then send you their public key, which you can encrypt then and send to them. And the only thing that can decrypt that is their private key. All the other public keys I distributed out there cannot decrypt something it ha with another public key, it has to be done with the private key. Now that you understand a little bit about GPG, let's go ahead and do some examples. All right, let's demonstrate this now. I have two virtual machines here, one for Bob and one for Patrick. They want they have typed up a message for each other. How, right here, Bob has a message for Pat, and Pat has a message for Bob, and they want to swap messages. However, they are very concerned about security, and they want to send those messages encrypted to each other. So uh, first thing they need to do is they need to create their private and public key. So let's go ahead and do that for Bob first. So the way we do that is just using the gen key option. It will ask you for full name and an email address, which we will give at pineapple.io. It will ask to confirm the information, which we'll send uh, O for OK. And then it will ask you for a passphrase, which we'll give. Now, do not forget this passphrase. It's very important to uh, always remember this. Otherwise, you will not be able to um, have access to your keys. So go ahead and remember to do that. Now you can click, hit the keyboard or whatever for some entropy. And now we have our keys that are generated. All right, let's go ahead and do the same thing for Patrick so that he has it as well. Now click, click, click whatever, and we have one as well. Now notice this too, that there is an expiration date. By default, it is two years. You can change that if you want to. Um, this is our fingerprint for our public key. So now, now that Bob and Patrick each have their private and public key, they need to swap keys. They need to exchange their public keys, right? So that they each can share the keys. And what will happen is, is Bob will share his key with Patrick, who will then use Bob's public key to encrypt a message to send back to Bob. And then Bob is the only one that can decrypt that with his private key. And vice versa, Bob will be able to uh, encrypt a message using Patrick's public key, as well as anybody who has Patrick's public key. But Patrick will be the only person who can decrypt it using his private key. So let's go ahead and export a key that we can then uh, share. So we'll go ahead and do that. So we'll use the GPG command. So GPG command. And we are going to output. Uh, let's call this Bob's public key. Do an armor on that. Export. And that's going to be associated with Bob's uh, Bob's email, right? Now, if you notice right here, we have Bob's public key. We're going to do the same thing for Patrick. We're going to um, export out Patrick's public key. And again, now Patrick has his public key. Now they need to swap and trade them. You can do this in any method you want. You can do it through email. You can do it over... SCP, which we're going to do, you can upload it to a Discord server. There are key servers that are out there online. MIT has a great one that you can use, and you can upload it there, and anybody can go ahead and grab them. So then they can send you encrypted messages. We're just going to use SCP for simplicity's sake, and we're going to send each other their keys. So Patrick's going to go first, and he's going to send this to Bob. And again, we're going to this in his home directory 
And now let's double check with Pat, make sure he got it, and he sure did. Now that they have swapped keys, they need to use GPG to import it into GPG, right? So we're going to use the import option in GPG to import Pat's. So Bob is importing Pat's public key. And you can see that, boom, it has been imported. Let's go ahead and do the same with Patrick so that he can import. And there we go. Very nice. So now they each have imported each other's keys. Now they can send each other messages. Now, if we look here, uh, Bob has a special message he wants to send to Pat. I have already typed this one up. If we take a look at this, this is what uh, Bob is going to be sending to Patrick. Very funny. And now we are need to encrypt it. So let's go ahead and encrypt this message using GPG. We're going to use the encrypt option. And we're going to output that message to Pat. And we're going to put it with a um, extension of GPG. It can be really anything, but um, GPG makes sense to me. So we're going to do that. We're going to send it to the recipient, Patrick at starfish.io and we got to include the message here right so this is the encrypted message that's going to be outputted see it's being encrypted and outputted to this file and it's taking this is the plain text file that's going to be encrypted and it's going to be using patrick's public key to be able to do that so let's go ahead and do that now it's going to ask you are you sure do you really trust this person do you know them and i'm going to say yes Everyone trusts Patrick. So now if we go ahead and look at this, it actually created this encrypted message. If we take a look at it, see, look, if we look at the unencrypted message, the one without the GPG at the end, we can see the message. However, if we do the encrypted message. That's what it looks like. That looks fairly encrypted to me. So um, let's go ahead and send that to Patrick and see if Patrick can decrypt that. So again, we're going to use SCP, but again, you can use any method you want. You can email it, upload it, thumb drive, however you want to get that message to them. If you're emailing it, you just send it as an attachment with nothing, nothing else in the body of it, and the person will get it, download that, that text, and um, be able to use it. So we're going to send um, the encrypted message to Patrick at his address right a local IP address type in the password and that should have been sent now so now Patrick should have it he does he has the message right here let's go ahead and see if Patrick can just do it right I mean he should be able to nope still encrypted Patrick actually needs to decrypt that message now it's really easy to use his public key or his private key just use GPG with no options and then the encrypted message name. You're prompted for your passphrase. I'll go ahead and put my passphrase there. Now it should give me a decrypted message of that message that Bob sent me. So let me go ahead and take a look at that. Oh, and now Patrick can read the message that Bob has sent him. Let's do let's have Patrick do the same thing. Patrick has this message for Bob right here. This is what the message is so everyone can see it. There's the message. Now let's go ahead and encrypt this using GPG. Again, we're going to encrypt. We can go ahead and do this. We do trust Bob and we can go ahead. And there we go. Now we have an encrypted message for Bob. Let's go ahead and send that to Bob. And make sure that he can read it. Here we go. Let's go ahead and look at Bob here. He has his message, but it's not encrypted. So let's go ahead and just use his private key. Enter in his passphrase. And now we have an unencrypted message from Patrick for Bob. And we can just read that as we normally do any message. And there we go. Patrick and Bob were successfully able to pass encrypted messages to each other and un unencrypt those messages as well. 
I hope that this has been beneficial to you. And now that you know how to use GPG, go out and do that. Go ahead and send me your public key and we can start encrypting messages, right? And send that out all to your friends. I hope you've enjoyed this message and I hope you learned something and have a great day.